This is Meadow. She's a lovely 58 and a half foot cruise astern narrowboat built in 2008 by Black Prince. Black Prince ran a hire fleet and in 2014 she transferred from the fleet into private ownership, ownership which included a repaint which is actually still in very good condition. She was last blacked in April 2018. She was last serviced in June of this year, 2020. She's been serviced annually. And she's in lovely condition both inside and out. Really good sized cruiser stern deck there. It's over seven feet long, seven feet six inches. Under those boards is an Isuzu 42 engine. We'll have a look at that. On the roof, there's a pole, plank, life ring. You can see how nice the paintwork is. Good sized windows. They're all tilt openers. There's the trademark bow fender that these Black Prince boats have. And typical stern fenders as well, actually. Very good size well deck. Four feet long, bench seats either side. The gas bottles are in this forward locker here. There's two of those, 13 kilos. There's mooring pins and things in there. The water tank's under this deck. It's stainless steel, 636 litres off memory. So it's good size. Nice glazed front doors. And then we go. The boat's built to accommodate people, really. This dinette turns into a double bed. The storage underneath. Nice dining area. The stereo in the corner here. Wall-mounted television with a DVD in it. Here's the view onto the well deck. Some shelves on the wall. You see the radiator there. One of three on board, and a sorry, four on board. The central heating is an Eberspacher system, diesel-fired central heating. It's a nice social area. This. Head height on the boat, I ought to mention, 6 feet 6, that's quite generous. And into the galley. This is compact, but it's got everything you need. There's a 12-volt fridge with an ice box, Stainless steel sink. Lots and lots of shelves over. Nicely fashioned around the corner there. There's a large cupboard under here. Shelves and a further cutlery drawer. And utensils drawer with a cupboard underneath that. That goes back to the edge of the boat under the gunnels. The cooker itself is a spin flow caprice, full burner gas hob, oven and grill. There's an extractor fan over the kitchen here. Moving down the port side corridor, further storage shelves there. And in here, we have the first of two loos. There's a brace of bogs on this boat. Macerated pump outs, the sink of ceramic over a vanity unit, storage cupboard. And some shelves here, lots of them. The holding tank on the loo, by the way, is enormous. Uh, I think 545 litres, it's on the spec. Good size shelving cupboard there. And the doors of these cupboards actually come back out onto the opposite gunnel and form privacy for the bedrooms. And this is the fixed double bedroom. The bed's six feet uh, two inches long, four feet wide, a huge storage shelf over. Wardrobe there at the foot of the bed. Another radiator in here. A drying rail over it. Some reading lights at the head of the bed, or the foot of the bed if you read with your feet. And in here we have another floor to ceiling cupboard. That's the door I mentioned. That folds back under the gunnels and hooks up for privacy if you're in the back cabin sleeping. And in here is the Sounds rather grand, I'll call it the master bed, uh, bathroom. Another ceramic sink, and the shower's in here. There's a light and an extractor fan over that, bifold glass doors, and lots of shelves here. She's a really lovely boat, lots of storage, lots of space, lots of beds. This aft cabin used to be uh, two twin beds, but when the current owners bought it from Black Prince, they had one taken out, and it's it's a bit of a utility room, really. Single bed here, which extends to three feet wide. Opposite that, you've got a washing machine and a tumble dryer, and useful storage areas and work surfaces. Could be a desk, if you've got hobbies or crafts, quite useful. Washing machine there. Oh, sorry, hair dryer, not a washing machine. And here's a 
large cupboard for wet coats and things and another storage cupboard storage here and down there is the three kilowatt inverter that's a sterling inverter charger out on the back deck you'll see how spacious this is nice seat there there's a separate locker here which forms another seat just to put bits and pieces and that's lockable I've never seen this before, it's a ladder to help you get onto the roof and there's a handle that extends there, you pop it into the shaft on the left so it only goes down another foot or something, hey presto you've got a safety handle. Engines in here, I mentioned that, Isuzu 42, it's nice and clean and tidy bank of batteries there on the port side some lovely shoes I've got on there And there we go, that's the view from the helmsman's position. Lighting on board is mostly LED. Hot water is supplied by either the engine, the Eberspacher central heating, or there is an immersion heater on board when you're plugged into the landline. There's four leisure batteries there, 105 amp hour Trojan deep cycle batteries and one starter. And she comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. Lots of space. That's the galley, last walk through. She was last blacked, by the way, I'm not sure I've mentioned that, in April 2018. So there we go, that is Meadow. For further photographs of fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.